Hello, hi, YouTube, Zach here. Uh, this video is one of our series on hyponatremia, and if you haven't seen the intro video yet, it might not make much sense. So uh, why don't you hit that button and check it out first? Or don't, whatever, you're cool, free country. To recap, you've got a patient with hyponatremia, low sodium, with a low serum osmolality and high urine osmolality. Urine sodium is also low and the patient appears hypovolemic, dehydrated. Concentrated urine with a low sodium content suggests that both the co-transporter and ADH are working overtime to suck salt and water out of the urine. This is a normal response to dehydration caused by things like vomiting or excessive sweating. Remember, bodily fluids like intestinal secretions or sweat are not pure water. You'll lose electrolytes like sodium as well, leading to a hyponatremia. Secretion of aldosterone and ADH is triggered by the fall in blood volume. They concentrate the urine by sucking out sodium and water in an attempt to prevent further dehydration and, over time, to return the body to where it's supposed to be. If your patient is dehydrated with a low sodium, rehydration with normal saline should return their sodium to normal soon enough. Remember, this shows why fluid restriction without further investigations is inadvisable and why you should treat the full picture, not just part of it. Let's say you rehydrate this person, but their hyponatremia doesn't resolve with fluid resuscitation and their urine remains concentrated. This suggests that the response of ADH is not physiological. You're looking at SIADH, the syndrome of inappropriate ADH secretion. Click here to find out more about SIADH or here to find out more about hyponatremia in hypervolemic patients.